Hey up everybody. Okay then, uh, while I'm waiting for boiler inspector to uh, visit and uh, check this boiler that I'm uh, on with, that loco I was showing you in one of my last videos. Um, yeah, while I'm waiting for that to hopefully be certified. We're still in summer months here and it's raining so I just thought I'd come inside and drop on to my micro lathe and do a little bit more to that. So I think I'm going to take a look at this tailstock today and uh, probably get the uh, slideways machined up and the gibbs made so that I can position it onto the bed accurately and then once I get my motor fitted I can spot it with a centre drill to get the position for my uh, Morse taper for it so I can't do that yet till I've got the motor on but I can get the uh, slideways done right just a brief explanation what I'm doing here because I got these castings as you probably you've probably heard me saying past I got these castings with no drawings and there was a little bit of machining been done on them but the tailstock I'm not really happy about putting this dovetail onto the bed with no form of adjusting it both ways I can adjust it one way with them adjusting screws but I can't do it the other way so what I'm going to do just briefly I'm going to square these I'm going to square this uh, tailstock off and not have a dovetail on the tailstock and then I'm going to, uh, so that's going to look like that then. Then I'm going to put some keeper plates on the bottom. And make some gibbs to match the angle of the lathe bed, dovetail. But on the other side I'm going to make them square to match the tailstock. Then I'm going to put a keeper plate at the bottom. And that's to stop the gibbs falling out while you're adjusting them and then I'm going to put some adjusting screws on both sides so I can wind it one way or the other way that way or that way and by doing that I can get my tailstock aligned exactly so when the centers in the workpiece I'm not going to get any taper turning uh, and that way it's going to give me some fine adjustment so that's what I'm going to do then I'm going to, I'm going to use this 16th plate to make the keeper plates I'll get them squared out and then we'll make some gibbs up and uh, drill some holes in and give it a try
Okay, then I've got the gibbs made for both sides. I've got two adjusting screws with locking nuts made, and I've got the locking handle made uh, to the same format as I've done my other handles on on the cross slide and the carriage. I've had to beef these uh, keeper plates up a little bit. I did put 16th on but I found out that it were flexing a little bit so I've beefed them up to, to thicker plate. So it's now ready for assembling. Well that's another part of jigsaw completed, it's, uh, it's sliding ok and it's locking ok so I can't really do any more to that tail stock until I've got my spindle powered up to mark the position where I want to put my Morse taper for the tail stock. Uh, I'll do that in another episode or some time later on. So uh, if you found that useful, uh, enjoyable, informative, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you up next part to this then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.